Okay, so we're in lockdown again. So another video. This is primarily aimed at martial artists, but the secrets we're about to reveal control your whole life. So it's very important for anybody else, any other sportsman. We'll start and it's just bear with us because what you need to understand and once you've gone through the first bit you'll understand what it's about. So just bear with us on this one. Well, let's start. I want you to try and remember this list in the correct order. And the list of objects are carpet, newspaper, bottle, bed, fish, chair, window, telephone and cigarettes. And I suggest you actually stop the video and write down what you can remember and see if you can remember them all in the correct order. Right, let's start with the basics. You have two minds, the conscious mind, which is what you're listening to me with now, and the subconscious mind. Now when you're born, the subconscious mind is a super powered, fantastic computer, all geared up with an operating system ready to go. Its main purpose is to keep you alive. So it controls everything, it's, it's multitasking, it controls your heart rate, it controls your breathing, your kidneys, your liver, everything. So it does it all at fantastic speed, fantastic power. When you're born, your conscious mind is totally blank. And it's really a reflection, and we'll see in a minute how it happens, that you build up certain things in the conscious mind and that becomes you. The problem with the conscious mind is it only deals one thing at a time. It does it very, very quick, but it only does one thing at a time. If you think of it like an old computer, you press a key, it takes that input, and then displays that on the screen. It takes a little bit of a file from the internet, goes back, accepts your second key, and repeats it. So it's not accepting a key and internet all at the same time. Modern computers are different, but we're just trying to simplify it. Right, so we need to learn how and why uh, we remember things. So to remember this list, you can't do it with words. You need to see pictures. I can't emphasize that enough. So we want to remember the list. So the first thing was a carpet. So you need to see a picture in your mind of a carpet. Not the word, an actual picture of a carpet. You try to make it as funny as possible, outrageous as possible, and possibly moving as a movie. So if you see in your mind a picture of the carpet and you shuffling your feet on the carpet, so that's the first object. Now we need to link that to the second object, which is a newspaper. So now see a picture in your mind of you on the floor, on the carpet, but the carpet is a newspaper. So you can see yourself actually getting down on the floor and reading this newspaper. So that links the carpet to the newspaper. Now the next one is bottle. So imagine opening a bottle of wine and out shoots this ginormous newspaper. So that now links newspaper to bottle. From bottle the next one is bed. So imagine going into your bedroom and imagine a bottle that's open like that and your bed is actually inside the bottle. So you actually see an image or a, a video of you getting into a actual bottle bed. The next one from bed is fish. 
So now we turn around and this ruddy, marvellous, fantastic sized fish is sleeping in your bed. And you must see the picture and it can't emphasize this enough, you must see the picture. The next one is chair. So again we link that to fish and see your chair and the actual ginormous fish sitting on the chair. From chair the next one is window and this is a good one where you can actually make a movement. Imagine picking up this chair and smashing it into the window. So you've actually got like a movie of you picking up this chair and throwing it through the window. From window the next one is telephone. So you pick up the phone and it's actually a giant window. So the last one is cigarette. So again you pick up the phone and thousands of cigarettes shoot out of the phone. Now to recall it, once you see the first one, carpet, it should spring into your mind the next one and so forth and you should be able to remember them all in the correct order. <clears throat> so that's useful in its own right. And it's only a small list but you can do 50, 100 things in the list in the same way and it will work. So you may say, what the hell's got, got to do with martial arts? Well, everything in your life, as we said, you were blank when you were born. And everything you learn is linked to something you already know. But the problem is you don't know what the link is. What we've just done, we know what the link is because we've created it ourselves. But normally it's linked to something you know and you've got no idea what that is. And the old psychiatrist thing was, if I say to you, knife, what's the first thing that comes into your mind? And that'll tell you the link, and it's normally fork. So you see knife and fork, or stabbing, or whatever, and that's the link. So normally we don't know what the links are, and over the years you make thousands of these links. And that's what makes you who you are, if you're frightened of a spider it's because somewhere there's a link between a spider and danger and it affects your whole life, your whole personality, everything. But we're primarily aimed at uh, martial arts and we're going to prove that everything martial arts do in their training, well not everything but most of what they do in the training is totally wrong. And this is something that Bruce Lee didn't formally teach in this way but if you listen to Danny Insanto um, he obviously realised what was going on and used this method to improve his martial arts. So why are we doing martial arts wrong? Most martial arts have forms or katas. Now let's take a very simple one. We do this block and then do this block and then we poke your eyes out. Very good. But having now learnt the links and how the mind works, what you're actually doing is linking this to that to that, just as you did with the memory trick. Now nowhere in your mind is that anything whatsoever to do with self-defence. You're simply linking that to that to that. Nothing to do with self-protection, self-defence, martial arts or anything to your mind. You're just doing this fancy dance. And that's where you're going wrong. It's lacking a lot of information. So we're doing this, this block. But the mind doesn't know that we're doing it as a block. Because we're just linking it that and it's a, a fancy dance. But as a block you're losing tactile information. We don't know how quick we've got to do it, what the angle is, how much force we need to put in. So we're totally lacking in that information. It started thousands of years ago when the Kung Fu master would go to a village and it would teach the forms because they understood how you remember and they were teaching the forms for you to remember 
their, what they were teaching because they would then go away <coughs> to the next village and it could be a month before they come back but what they were expecting was that you remembered the forms but then you actually practice it in real real time with a real person real application <clears throat> and just an idea around how this can happen and, and the effects imagine you're walking down the street nice day in front of you is a ladder up at a building there's a man up the ladder with a big tub of paint as you get there a woman comes forward with a German Shepherd and a red car comes past <clears throat> Suddenly, bang, the paint's dropped on your head. Now that is emotional link. And immediately the subconscious recognises this as danger. So instead of having to do this hundreds of times to remember, the subconscious now says, whoa, this is danger, I need to protect them and it will form a link with something in that scene because it's life threatening and the subconscious must now take control of this and be aware of it so a few weeks later you're walking along all of a sudden your heart bam, 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 you're breathing and you don't know why so you think, my God, I'm having a heart attack. Well, what's actually happened is a subconscious mind has seen something similar that it's linked to that disastrous thing with the paint, recognised it and said, right, we're in danger. Pump adrenaline into, into the bloodstream, get the heart going, get the breathing going. We're in danger here, we need to act. If you don't realise why it's happening, then you have a panic attack. Because you've no idea why your heart's suddenly racing and your breathing suddenly going. And that's the start of panic attacks. If it's a quite common situation, you can then have panic attacks for the rest of your life. Every time you walk down the street and there's a ladder, depending on what the association was, you can be having panic attacks. And that's the problem with doing this. The subconscious mind is not interested, that's just a fancy dance. So what do we need to do? We need to get the purpose and the information into the subconscious. So hit will recognize this and act accordingly so instead of just waving your hand around willy-nilly we need to actually put it into context so we need somebody to come at you full power with a punch and we need to actually block that and it needs to be real because then the subconscious says oh hang on <clears throat> this guy's going to work me He's throwing this punch. Now, oh, but this is stopping it. And now I've got tactile information. I know how much power to put into it. I know how quick I've got to act. Do I need to twist because he's too powerful? And the same with every move. So each individual move should then be recorded at full power. And the subconscious will then take it over and say, right, when, when it comes to... Uh, a punch coming in we know now we've got this associated this punch comes we do this this punch comes here we do this we've got the tactile information we know what to do and now in terms of self-defense now you're all prepared the problem is that that can very quickly go into the subconscious and in a real life threatening situation, the subconscious will use that. And it will know exactly what to do in the blink of an eye. 
if you're doing freestyle sparring that's not quite the same because your conscious mind is in control and it doesn't see it as a danger because it's just a game so your subconscious isn't then reacting because it knows it's not real we're just having a mess about now as we said the problem with the conscious mind is it only does one thing at a time so if a punch comes your subconscious your conscious mind has to think hmm now should we block it that way should we block it that way maybe we should block it this way and it's very slow and, and it just doesn't work and because you see it as not a real defense you're still working on your conscious instead of your subconscious now this sounds totally stupid but it does actually work and it's scientific if you're doing freestyle you want to shut off your conscious mind and then we said that it can only do one thing at a time so it takes some practice this but if you say for example sing you can sing in your head or you can sing out loud if you want your conscious mind can only concentrate on the singing that's occupying the conscious mind it can't work out anything else so then that forces the subconscious to to work anything that occupies the conscious mind will work you could do one nine is nine two nine is eight two three nine is twenty seven etc it's something well worth trying it takes some practice but you will find that your conscious mind is fully occupied and your subconscious mind will react to whatever is happening and therefore being ten times more efficient there's some oddities with this and it's very strange but and it sounds totally stupid but again it's scientifically proven and it does work so if somebody's attacking you <clears throat> and they're using their conscious mind you can lock their mind for a split second elephants love custom and all of a sudden your mind just said what the hell is he talking about elephants we're talking about what, what what and that's the trick just that one strange thing the mind stops for a second and says, what, we, why, why is he on about elephants and custard it's mad and in that split second they might only just boom they're dead and it's another trick that uh, can be used and it sounds deaf but it does it does actually work very often if you're doing demonstrations you're talking to somebody they listen to you bang they don't see the movement coming because they're listening with the conscious mind and they don't realize this punch is coming if you're standing there they see it coming so it's a very important technique and it's one uh, that's very interesting and another little twist and if you watch Bruce Lee's films he let out a lot a lot of secrets but never formally taught and I know two of his former students James DeMille and Jesse Glover and they've revealed a lot of these secrets and it's just sort of one word and then you realize what's going on so if you see a lot of it you must remember the films are, are not real life but he still used the same things so very often you would see Bruce Lee going wow 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 and what's he doing 
is forming in your mind and you don't realize it the association when i go wow i'm going to hit you like that wow i'm going to hit you like that and after three or four things your mind is then fixed on when he goes wow he's going to hit me so then he goes wow and hits you in a different way and your mind because it's now linked to that sound it's going to hit that way and you're going to block that way you scuppered and it's very evident these these secret things that he, he did that uh, are there and very very subtle but they do actually work and we've talked about martial arts but obviously everything in your life comes back to these links if you see a spider as a child and it frightens you that will cause an association and you'll feel spiders for the rest of your your life and everything you you do if you put your hand near something hot you pull it back and that's immediately into the subconscious because it's danger and it makes your whole personality and everything some good some bad and it's a very interesting thing and you can actually undo some of these links when you do the, what we've just done is link these list of objects and if you think of it it's a very very thin like hair like link and if we wanted to remember them for a longer time you'd repeat it and repeat it and then the link would grow each time and you get thicker and thicker till it becomes like a steel cable and then, then you remember it probably for the rest of your your life okay so uh, if you like this video give it a like and don't forget to subscribe we have lots of other uh, videos on martial arts and various aspects of crew and other life-changing things there's a lot of secrets which are very very simple that Bruce did like a reflex lag and why he was always able to hit somebody because he understood the reflex lag and if you'd like to uh, learn those secrets we may do some videos of that in the future so don't forget to like and subscribe catch you next time we're locked down which seems to be every couple of months now